where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, Brian's channel. Welcome sorry. back. <laughs> so um, today is Tuesday, and Miss Harper had her tonsils out. It's probably what, like a week ago now. Yeah, I think it's seven days today. It's been a bit rough. She's just chilling on the couch. I'm obviously not gonna annoy her with the camera. Um, she's just watching as much YouTube as she wants. But yeah, so she had. The surgery, um, so she had a second set of grommets, tonsils out, and her adenoids came back a little bit, which has been very brave, so. And I've got the week off work, just yes. looking after the little one. Yeah, so Ryan's work isn't too hectic, he just did some handovers, and we've got planners, so I've literally just been packing planners every day. Yesterday we got out 860, there was only three of us. So it's kind of with Ryan's quieter at the moment because then, you know, during the day when I'm packing planners, he can, we can like, tag team. But yes, I was at the hospital with H and um, it was, I was a mess. Like seeing your child go, you know, be put under for surgery is really rough. But I know it's going to be the best, like she's got obstructive sleep apnea, she can't hear, like it's definitely the best thing for her, but it's just really hard to see, you know, your little one go through that, so it's been a bit hard. But she's been very strong, baby girl. Mm -hmm. She's actually got her kindy orientation day tomorrow, and I'm a little bit worried, because obviously she's not 100% yet. She's, um, she's like taking, you know, a fair bit of meds and stuff, and I just don't know... Maybe they'll let me come into school. I don't know. Just because obviously with um, the situation, like the parents can't go in, and normally I think you can. So I don't know what to do about that. Mm -hmm. 
your kindy orientation tomorrow. Are you excited? Excited. You get to go to big school for a day. Is that cool? Yeah. Hey, okay, and you can do some activities in class. Is that cool? Yeah. You're a bit tired, pumpkin. Our sleep's been really broken. It reminds me of newborn days. Yeah, I took her to hospital. We stayed overnight and then um, I had to take her in again on the weekend because she was literally not drinking or eating and she was getting really pale. And I know like quick, kids can quickly get dehydrated once they've had their tonsils out. So I took her to hospital. They managed to get some stuff into her, which was really good. Like she needed anti-nausea meds, which really helped her. But, um, we're getting there, we're getting there. She's on the mend, that's the main thing. So yeah, that's a little update with H, packing planners, it's full steam ahead. We were so lucky to get the signature blush in early, so we started sending those out and the other shipments will be coming in like earlier as well. But yeah, it's obviously a lot to get out, but I'm just super excited. Anyways guys, I'm about to head out because um, I'm getting hair extensions in. So I booked this a little while ago because I just feel like I need a change. I used to have very long hair. Um, I did have it, hair, these hair extensions when Harper was a baby because I was growing out my natural hair and then my natural hair got really long. But these, I like these extensions because they're keratin bonds and they're really low maintenance. I only wash my hair once a week and I'm really bad with hair. Um, but you can put it up in a ponytail, it's not annoying at all. So, And you only have to get them fixed up every like three months or so. But yeah, I'm going to head out now. I'm going to quickly go to work, do payroll invoices, pack planners and come back and be with my baby girl. But anyway, I'm going to go and get some hair. from the hairdressers and I am in love. I haven't had long hair in so long. That sounds funny, but I love it. I forgot how nice it is, um, but I'm gonna go a little bit darker as well. So we're gonna be toning them to be a little bit darker for my next, um, when I go to my actual hairdresser. So I've got a hairdresser that colors my hair and then this is another beautiful lady who does the extensions. They're like, I don't know if you can see, but Basically, they're keratin bonds, and I love these because you only have to get them done like once every six months because I'm very, very lazy with hair. But I hope you guys like it. It's just I really wanted a change. I needed something a bit different, and I used to always have long hair, and then I just got bored and I cut it off. But So, yeah, it's really light and nice. Really good quality hair extension too, so it doesn't wreck your hair, which is great. It's funny how you get a lot of mum guilt just for doing things like this. Like I had this booked in for ages, and then just because like – I don't know, maybe because of Harper's surgery and stuff, but obviously she's with Ryan anyway, so it's fine. But I always get so hard on myself, and I don't know. Anyway, it's just mum guilt. But I'm really glad I did take that. It was only took like an hour. Took that bit of time out for myself. All right, I just got home to a parcel from Cup She. They have some really cool swimmers, and they've got really nice high-waisted ones. So I'm going to show you all of these amazing swimmers. I've got some red ones. I've got some cool stripe prints as well, polka dots. And even like a cover up, just everything. So I'm going to show you these now and I'll give you guys all the links in the description box below. All right, so here's the first one. So this is really cute high-waisted bottoms and they've got a full cover at the back too. So it's not like a cheeky cut. And then we have this really pretty, it's like a peachy apricot top that has frills. It has removable padding in it as well. But yeah, I love this outfit. It feels very, very um, comfortable for the beach and stuff so yes i love this it's so hard to find good high-waisted swimmers and these are actually high-waisted because especially because i'm tall usually high-waisted means here but these are perfect so that is the first one which i really really like here we have this really cute white set it's got the double straps there and it's got this cute little tie thing up at the front as well these um the top doesn't like move around which is really good this one's a little bit more cheekier at the back but i do really like this and i might actually wear this for our christmas party because we're going on a boat, which is very exciting. So next up, we have this really cute cover-up. It's like a knitted kind of material. And then the swimmers underneath are these really beautiful striped ones as well. Really pretty. Yes, that is the next one. I love this. I think this cover-up is going to come in really handy. So if you're going on holiday, I actually don't own a good beach cover-up. So this is very needed. They have so many different ones on their website as well. Um, but yeah, I'll have the links to everything below. And at the moment in the swimmers, I'm a medium. 
And here we have a really cute striped one piece. So it's kind of got like a, a lower cut at the front. So yeah, it's hard to find really nice one pieces. So yes, if you're after some really nice one pieces, they've got so many to choose from. So yeah, that is one of the one pieces I chose. So here's the red one and it's got like a bit of a cheeky cutout here, a bit of under boob action. And then the bottoms have these little frills, but yes, it's very cute, this one. And then the last one is also red because I actually don't have any like red swimmers. So I really wanted to get a couple. Here's the last bikini. It's probably one of my favorites. I like this coverage, it's quite nice. If you're a big busted, this is a really good one to go for. And you can obviously take this tie off and it just turns into a crop top. Really nice high-waisted bottom and, and it's a really cool ribbed material as well. So it feels super supportive, nice like around the tummy area as well. But yes, that is this one. And again, I'm a medium in everything. Probably one of my favorites, I love it. It just feels very comfortable. If you have any questions with any of the swimmers at all, just comment below. Would you stay till the morning? you follow me or would you let it be if i leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy hello oh, you stay with me long hair long hair yeah. Yeah. you turn away i just want you to know that i didn't throw your stuff away before you make up your mind that i'm nowhere to find them Standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss packed 989 orders today. We're a bit annoyed that it was like 11 short of a thousand, but we did very well considering I wasn't here for a few hours as well. Now I gotta go home and get back into mum life. So you want me to take this going. Ryan said she's been going pretty good. She actually went to Ryan's parents' house for a little bit today too, so Ryan could go to work. So yes, anyway, it's time to head off. As you guys know, I've been doing the 60 day challenge and it includes like choosing some habits that you want to stick to for the 60 days. And it's not like the 75 hard way. If you kind of mess up, you start again. Cause I don't want to like see it as like a punishment. So it's more about like taking time for yourself. So mine was no drinking unless it's a social occasion, 10 pages of a book, um, 45 minutes of exercise, 20 minutes of mindfulness and good foods. Anyway, so since I've been doing it, I feel so good. I feel amazing. I haven't had a drop of alcohol in like 21 days and I feel so good. I used to have a few drinks on the weekend, but it really just does affect my anxiety. And I've recently got into running. I never thought, thought I was a runner before. And um, I just decided like the other week, oh, I'm just gonna run, not do intervals. I'm not gonna put any pressure on myself, I'm just gonna run. And I actually did really well, like a lot better than I thought I would. So now I've been into that and I love it. And it is, it's funny how we kind of label ourselves things that we think that we are not good at. Like, for example, in high school, I wasn't the best at math. So I naturally thought when it came to running my business, like the financial side, I would not be like, I thought I was dumb, but I'm not. And it's just kind of like sad how we can kind of label ourselves and we keep that label for our entire lives. So I feel like you can take anything away from this video. It's to challenge yourself. It could be, it's even like, I hear it all the time. It's like, I'm not motivated like her. I just don't know how to be healthy. I'm not smart. I'm not this or that, I'm not a runner, just stuff like that. But I want you to really challenge that label that you've given yourself, because most of the time it will be wrong. But anyway, talking about alcohol, I found the best non-alcoholic wine, because I really like the taste of wine and I like to have something nice at the end of the day. So I found this brand, it's not sponsored, it's called Poker. It's a non-alcoholic wine and it is so nice. Like, I love it. You get online, but yeah, if you guys are after a good non-alcoholic wine, if you're pregnant, 
give this guy a go. Because I've been having it at like the end of each day and it's so nice. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Hopefully, it wasn't too all over the place. When I pack planners, I just get so tired. I just want to head off now and hang out with the girls um, before we get them ready for bed. Please comment below what you'd like to see on my channel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.